Hello besties and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I'm currently really really busy with exams but I felt like this video was very important. Um, today we're going to be discussing the use of NOS aka nitrous oxide or commonly known as laughing gas and we'll be discussing Kaylee's use of it in this video. If you haven't been keeping up recently, Kaylee posted this live talking about it. I just want to make it clear that possessing or selling of nitrous oxide for legitimate business reasons is not illegal. However, selling or using using nitrous oxide to get high is illegal in California where Kaylee is at. So what is NOS and what are the dangers of it in case you were wondering? NOS stands for nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is a colorless gas that is commonly used for sedation and pain relief, but it is also used by people to feel intoxicated or high. It's commonly used by dentists and medical professionals to sedate patients undergoing minor medical procedures. So in this video, Kaylee claims that it is not a drug. What is it? It's literally so dumb. It's nothing. It's not drugs. It's not anything. It literally just like gives you like a weird head rush. That is false. Nitrous oxide is often categorized as a depressant, dissociative, or inhalant type drug because of its effects and how it is inhaled. A depressant drug is one that like slows the body down. How it's taken is typically like the gas is inhaled typically by discharging nitrous gas cartridges like bulbs or whippets into another object such as a balloon or directly into the mouth. Inhaling nitrous oxide produces like a rapid rush of euphoria and feeling of floating or excitement for a short period of time. The next part of the video, Kaylee says that she's literally just killing her brain cells. I'm literally just killing my brain cells. So why does she say that? Well, researchers have made it clear that whippets can deprive the heart and the brain of much needed oxygen, a condition formerly known as hypoxia. It's also common knowledge that the brain cannot function without oxygen. And the longer it lacks this oxygen, the more damage occurs. So yes, whippets can kill brain cells. Similar to many other drugs, using whippets long term may cause irreparable brain and nerve damage. Many people have landed in the hospital or have even died suddenly as a result of hypoxia why am i doing this mm, i don't know peer pressure honestly peer pressure everybody in la is doing it and i wanted to try it that's literally that's it there's nothing behind it there's like I she said she got it. into it because of peer pressure and everyone in la was doing it that is honestly scary to hear no lie like the fact that it's so dangerous yet it has become so widely used in the party scene is not a good enough reason to indulge in it i wanted to try it so i bought it because i have the money too and i bought it so it's like i might as well finish them you know? she said she had the money to buy it so she might as well finish it well, we all know that Kaylee can also afford fentanyl or heroin and we all know how bad that would be. She also kept claiming that it does nothing while she proceeds to use it wrongly. She said she might as well huff cleaner or anything to get her high, which is very scary to hear honestly she claims it's a whipped cream can and that it's dumb referring to what is known as a whippet it is not dumb kaylee the problem is that people become so infatuated with these side effects and focus on only what they feel while they're high forgetting about what they're doing to their hearts and brains like she then proceeds to say that she bought a 24 pack i've been told that that is the smallest pack they sell but my issue here is that I believe the moment someone starts buying drugs out of pocket after trying it once at a party is never a good sign. If it was something she wanted to experiment with, most people would stick to what was what is being handed to them at a party and that would be that. Then someone goes on to ask if it's like laughing gas and she says no. Once again, that is wrong. Laughing gas and nitrous oxide are one in the same. She then proceeds to say that it's legal if you're 21 and which again is false. It is in fact very illegal in the state of California. Places just get by on selling it. Someone then goes on to say their friend got paralyzed from using it and Kaylee just nonchalantly says, that's crazy. The issue most people have is that just a few days prior to using NOS in her life, Kaylee was confirmed that she was not she was in fact not sober, contrary to the belief that she was. She was taking her fans on this journey to sobriety and then recently proceeded to confirm that she is in fact not sober and she has never been sober, completely sober. It started when she tweeted this out. 
So it started when she tweeted out, what movie would you watch on acid after she claimed she was sober? People obviously then questioned her for it. She then claimed people were trying to parent her and then they, that they might as well clock in and start getting paid for their concerns. She then went on to say that she's 21 and that people should unfollow her if they were just there to see her sober and that she will continue doing drugs. Other now deleted tweets that she put out as well include this one where she said I'm gonna take a Xanax just so y'all can get the off my back annoying as I should have never told you I've been sober off of it knowing this was the reaction I was going to get a 20 year old for doing other shit you. Another now deleted tweet was this one where she said some of y'all are genuinely so annoying if you care about me getting sober so much go become a sponsor not a follower of a 21 year old girl go Put that energy somewhere else. I'm 21. I will continue to do drugs and drink. So unfollow me if you're here to see me sober. And oh boy, did not stop there. Afterwards, I think she realized like, oh, I was being a bit too emotional about people being concerned about me, like not being sober. So she decided to play it off as if she was just trolling the whole time. So she started making jokes about it, saying, anyway, back to my drugs. Drugs are the best thing ever. I'm just with you all at this point. Some other since deleted tweets include this one where she says crack and she puts a heart. Other ones are like drugs, drugs, drugs. Drugs are the best thing ever. I'm not sober. I love drugs so much. And honestly, at this point, she just started writing all these things just to get at people. So there's also this one where she says a bump of ketamine for breakfast. Yes. She then proceeds to say y'all are too sensitive nowadays. And um, someone just says to her, Kaylee, respectfully, don't say you're sober when you're honestly not, dude. It's disrespectful to people who are sober everywhere. And she says, cry me a river. So under the post where she says y'all are too sensitive, someone asked her if she was still friends with Natalia. And Kaylee then goes, why the F is who I'm friends with your business? And that's when she completely blew. She starts off by saying y'all be asking personal questions like I know y'all. And the person then proceeds to say that I was just curious. You made your friendship public. I'm allowed to ask questions. No need to be so hostile. And Kaylee was like, so every relationship I've had, that's been public y'all get to chime in on it um bet but by this time she already deleted those other ones where she talked spoke about natalia or the ones where she was saying oh that she will continue doing drugs she's 21 she'll drink she'll do drugs she'll do whatever she wants and then she just kept the ones where she was playing it cool so people would think that she's really really unbothered by all of this and as for my opinion on all of this i'll kind of give it towards the end of the video because there is something that Kaylee did that kind of just did not sit right with me honestly speaking like um so I'll talk about like how I feel about the whole psychedelic situation how I feel about the NOS situation and as well as like what she did um so now I'm gonna talk about what she did that just kind of like felt really 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 wrong for me and um yeah so after this whole drug talk where she's like, oh, I love drugs, what not, and then the next few days, like, Kaylee did NOS on live stream. obviously everyone freaked out, and they were like, oh my god, like, you just said that you're just replacing one drug with another drug, and obviously Kaylee kind of flipped out, and she did not take it very well, so she kind of acted cool on her twitter where she was like oh people are so bothered blah 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 i'm okay what not and i'll do what i want and basically while she was doing that on her twitter she went behind like behind the scenes and messaged people who were commenting about the whole nos situation and I have those messages, they have posted it, and I will read them for you. They're actually very, very disturbing. So there's this wonderful person on Twitter called Elsie, and Elsie decided to post about the harmful effects of NOS. And Kaylee didn't like that very well, so she decided to privately message Elsie. So Kaylee messaged her, starting off by saying, Babe, you really need a hobby. Maybe focus on your family and your mom instead of my life. Awkward. And for context, this is the part that really, really bothers me so much. So a few days before this, Elsie came out and said that her mom had cancer and that Elsie has the risk of getting it as well. And for Kaylee to go back and like 
go and look at her old tweets and use that against her because she is unhappy that Elsie is educating people on the harmful effects of NOS is just absolutely disgusting. The fact to even bring up something that is so traumatic for someone just because you want to one up on them is really, really, really gross. No lie about it. She then proceeds to say that I actually feel sorry for you. Um, anyways, do you want my phone number? You're always up my ass anyway. Send this to your little group chat. I know they will freak out. I finally messaged you. Maybe make a YouTube video about it. I'm kind of bored right now. I need some entertainment. You keep me so relevant. It's effing hilarious. Keep doing it. I need my 15 minutes of fame. Also, post this screenshot since you think I'm so scared of them. She then proceeds to say, like, I didn't know what the F I said. Y'all wouldn't say half the shit in person to my face. That's the funniest part. If I called one of y'all in person, y'all would stand there like a little bee. So after all of this, at 12.17 p.m., she blocks Elsie. So Elsie doesn't have a chance to even respond. And then at 12.25, she unblocks Elsie, goes boohoo, cry me a river, B, and then blocks Elsie again. So Elsie doesn't have a chance to reply once more. And it does not stop there. So when Elsie confirms that Kaylee literally keeps messaging her, blocking her, thinking of more things to say, unblocking her, saying shit, then blocking her again before she can even respond. So Elsie stated that it was very childish and Elsie decided to confirm that this is in fact not the first time she's spoken to Kaylee because as you can remember from the earlier messages, Kaylee said, oh, now you can go tell your friends that I finally responded to you. Elsie then decided to confirm that this is in fact not the first time she's spoken to Kaylee. Kaylee was in her DMs asking about Anna's TikTok. Another lovely person on Twitter also confirmed that Kaylee was also in her DMs asking about Taylor's tweets. So this is a recurrent thing with Kaylee. She goes to people's DMs, asks about stuff, and when she doesn't need the person anymore, she will start messaging them really 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 rotten thing and that's really disgusting honestly elsie also confirmed that kaylee also told her that she enjoys bitching in people's dms and blocking them before they can respond and that's when we find out that kaylee also messaged another girl because this girl commented about the psychedelic thing publicly and kaylee decided to message a bunch of things and then block this girl so not only did Kaylee message this girl privately and block her, she also continued to keep tabs on her page and see if that girl will continue to talk about her. So when Kaylee found out she's still talking about her, she decided to reply to her on that girl's page. And not only that, she went on to unblock that girl again to tell her how she loves blocking her before she gets a chance to reply and that it's so fun and I can't help it. I'm a childish bee, remember? And it didn't stop there. She would unblock this girl, tell her more things, block her, tell her more things. So she says, babe, you keep taps on my life. I'm going to block you and never look back. You'll keep watching me, though I'll be at the club tonight, having fun with all my friends while you're watching my account, being a pathetic, miserable bee with all your 10 other accounts. Make sure you make a group chat so you can watch me tonight. I'm going to look so cute. And I just don't get it. Like, if you're so unbothered, you're not going to keep blocking and unblocking people. And then you're not going to, like, say a lot of bullshit and then block someone before you get the chance to hear their reply. It just makes no sense to me, to be honest. And on her own Twitter, Kaylee's own Twitter, she was going about it like she's so unbothered. But you would have to be following these two girls to really know, like, okay, Kaylee is harassing them in the DMs. She is just blocking, unblocking, writing all these paragraphs. You would not have known that looking at Kaylee's Twitter because she is acting really, really unbothered on there and deleting all the tweets where she seems bothered. And the one person that I really feel sorry for is Elsie because the fact that Kaylee used her mother's cancer diagnosis as a one-up is just really, really disgusting. And after all of this, Kaylee switched off her replies so people couldn't really call her out for it. And she blocked a bunch of people. And Elsie also went on to like show a screen recording that to prove that the messages were actually real because people were questioning like, oh, okay, is, maybe you're just talking to yourself or whatnot. And from that screen recording, we can actually see that Kaylee unblocked her again and said that losing all my fans wear, my following has only been going up in money, 
my money has only been getting better again you, you're keeping me relevant what don't you get you were a fan of me before that makes sense sorry i'm still laughing at you saying i'm losing my followers my new header babe it's just for you sorry i couldn't tag you and then blocked her again so basically kaylee used their messages to put it as their header and put elsie's name on there so she, kaylee's fans will go attack elsie as well as the fact that Kaylee was keeping tabs on Elsie's page to reply to her in DMs, block her so that she can look unbothered in public, but behind the scenes she can say whatever she wants. And as for my opinion on the whole psychedelic thing, honestly speaking, I know nowadays like psychedelics have been found like by research to be helpful for depression, PTSD, addiction. And honestly, as a medical student as well, I can't really deny its benefits. However, do I think it's for everybody? No, definitely not. I do not think it's for everybody. Um, addiction at the end of the day is an addiction and moderation doesn't work for everybody. Do I think moderation works for a lot of people? Definitely not as well. I don't think it works for a lot of people. It's very rare. It does work for some people, but not everyone. And I do think like, for example, the Demi Lovato situation, Demi decided to do this whole California sober thing. Did I quite agree with Demi doing California sober? Hell no, because Demi was addicted to alcohol. So for Demi to do alcohol in moderation just did not seem like a good idea for me because addiction, again, is not being able to do stuff in moderation. So I really didn't agree with that. As well as for Kaylee, I do not know her specific case. Honestly speaking, I can't just say, okay, this will work for her, this won't work for her. But I do know that Kaylee is easily influenced by things. I don't know if switching one drug for another is a good idea for her, to be honest. And yes, psychedelics do have benefits when it comes to addiction, PTSD, depression, and a bunch of other things. But again, that is when it's done in like a therapeutic way and in like a few places, select places are able to administer it in that way. Not every place can do it. And just you doing it at home in large, large sums and amounts is just not helpful in my opinion but again that is my opinion and research is still very new when it comes to like moderation and how it helps people with drugs for example elton john did not agree with demi and actually told demi that it's not a good idea now demi is saying that moderation is not a good idea either so again like i said everyone's experience is different i however do not think it works for a lot of people, so unless Kaylee is this like rare case where it does work for her, I don't know. Honestly, I can't tell, but I, I understand people's worries. I understand people's concerns and why it was concerning. And the fact that she said, oh, I'm 21, I, like she was doing it for all the wrong reasons. I'm 21, I'll do what I want, I'll take drugs, I love drugs, whatnot. And the fact that she went and did NOS like a few days after, that tells me itself like she is switching one drug for another and that is already a bad sign in my opinion of course you're free to have your own opinions you can leave them in the comments and thank you so much for watching like i hope i was able to like break down everything that happened and i will see you next time i don't know when that is i am currently doing exams but thank you so much if you watched till the end i love you and goodbye